all quiet outside the Russian embassy in London as the diplomatic mission prepares to send home 23 of its diplomats. Adjustments to the flag suggesting the expulsions have done little to damage Russian national pride. UK Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson touring TV and radio studios justifying a reaction to what he calls attempted murder on British soil. There's, there's very little doubt in people's minds that this is a, a signature act by the Russian state uh, deliberately using a Novichok, a, a nerve agent developed by Russia uh, to punish a, a Russian uh, defector as they would see it. At the British Embassy in Moscow, they're waiting for official news of the Kremlin's reaction expected to be tit-for-tat expulsions of British diplomats. Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, says accusing Russia of attempted murder on the streets of Britain is just a political distraction. I think that this is obviously a story that reflects, firstly, the despair of the current government of Great Britain, especially in a situation where they cannot fulfill the promises which they gave to their population regarding their exit from the European Union. But there will be an answer very soon. I guarantee it. Support for the British comes from traditional quarters. NATO condemning the attack as a breach of international norms. This is the first offensive use of a nerve agent on alliance territory since NATO's foundation. This is unacceptable. It has no place in a civilized world. The poisoning of Sergei Skripal and his daughter Yulia is to be discussed at next week's summit of European Union leaders, according to the EU Council president. I would like to express my full solidarity with Prime Minister Theresa May mm -hmm. in the face of the brutal attack, which was inspired most likely by Moscow. UK Prime Minister Theresa May here making her first visit to the scene of the chemical attack will welcome all the practical help she can get from her international friends, acutely aware that comforting words alone will barely suffice in what looks set to be a protracted diplomatic battle with Moscow. Richard Bestick, CGTN, London.